Okay, Leanna, what is this? Hey, everybody, and welcome to another show and tile. It's Wednesday, 7.30 p.m., and it's time for everybody from around the world to come by with their crafting, 3D printing, sewing, soldering, and coding projects and show us what they're doing. It. That's what show and tell is all about. I'm Lady Ada. With me, Mr. Lady Ada. And today, because we have special Ada Box unboxing coming up right after, yeah. we have to get out of here at 7.50, like for real. Not like, ah, 7.59. No, 7.50. So we're going to start off with Scott. What are you coding up this week? Turk Path and Land. Hello. I've been doing a lot of JavaScript, actually, because what? I'm using Re React Native to create a new application we're calling Glider. Uh, I'm going to just kick it here and reload. So it's a it's a code editor for phones and tablets, uh, and it loads and saves code uh, over Bluetooth. So you don't even have to uh, plug it in. This connection here to the iPad is actually to my computer. It's not to the Feather NRF 52840 Express here. And again, this is also to the computer and not, not to each other. So there's no tricks here besides Bluetooth, which is magical in and of itself. <laughs> so uh, it's going to scan and try to find the the device, and then it will connect to it, which it looks like it did. And now it's loaded the current code.py um, off of the device itself. And the new thing that you can do is you watch the, well, you can do all sorts of different things. So if we want to um, basically make the blue go away. Yeah, make the blue go away we can set it to zero, zero. And if I just wait a little bit, now you can see it's just blinking off and on. Now it's mm -hmm. not very, you can't see it very long. So let's actually change the sleep after we set it. Yeah, change that to one. one. Yeah, okay. I like how it knows it's numbers. So it changes the keypad. It's nice. Right. Oh, look. Now it's blinking one yeah. second on. One now second. it's blinking slower. Mm. Um, yeah, so. Uh, it's it's trying to be smart and it's actually parsing the Python file as you pointed out it's actually knowing that like the sleep value here is a number or the uh, the numbers here are uh, like hex digits so it gives you yeah. the full keyboard instead mm -hmm. and theoretically in the future we can actually know that it's a color and give you a color picker which is is kind of what I'm going for so early days but if anybody has, React Native, JavaScript, TypeScript experience and wants to help out, uh, please, please, please reach out. We'd love to have more folks working on this. This is so cool. And, and I don't uh, know, it's instant update. Where is the uh, repo if people want to check out where your work is? GitHub.com slash Adafruit slash Glider for the app. I'm pushing straight there, not pull requests or anything right now because I'm the only one working on it. And uh, the changes on the CircuitPython side are in a branch of my... Circuit Python. So reach out if you want to see that as well. Okay, right on. All right, sweet. Nice All right. deal. Thanks, Scott. All right, thanks, Scott. All right, next Make up, you. let's go to this demon. Paint your dragon. <laughs> no! <laughs> I just have something quick to show. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's great. Doing, yeah. Um, I'm going to turn that down. Uh, you know, we've been doing lots of the eyes things, and uh, I didn't have a good example of like why you would want to do eyes and voice at the same time. Um, so this was like a like a cheap mask from the Halloween store, like a fifteen dollar mask. Um, I'll, I'll write a guide, not not super technical, just like here's some things to look for, here's what you'll encounter, and maybe it'll give people ideas on how how to build their own. But uh, what I liked on this mask is you you see out of the uh, tear duct area but Ooh, the, smart. over here because that's the thing a lot of the masks i went and looked at it's like you're looking through whatever whatever monster you are you're looking out its own eyes and you can't really you know the the monster mask board would block your vision so this was kind of like a, a perfect find uh for this kind of project yeah and it raw oh i turned the turn the speaker off it sounds like a monster you'll just have to trust me and that's the the voice changer code, and that's from the original demon costume that you've ported over to the Monster Mask board. So that was very exciting. Yeah, there's there's small small changes, but um, yeah, it's it's essentially a, an evolution of that that same project. I mean, so are the eyes, uh, technically speaking. The DNA goes all the way back. All right. So people yeah. who want to try out, if they have a Monster Mask, they want to try out voice changing at the same time as eyes. We now have that code, code committed. Perfect for making. 
That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, <anyway. laughs> All right, sweet. Thanks. All right, next up, known Pedro, who have turned into a Lego head. Not nearly as demonic, I think. Hey, there we are. Yeah, so this is this week's project. So it's a 3D printed Lego head. Lego-like. We're going to have to start saying Lego-like. So we put the CPX inside the bottom here, as you can see there. It snap fits mm -hmm. in there. It's it's a lamp, so how do you turn it on, right? Well, it's plugged in, and you just give it a little oh, shake. Awesome. All right, so that's our, our little sample there for the Lego movie. Uh, so it's written in CircuitPython, and it's really easy to kind of uh, customize the animations or change the lights to do something. Maybe you don't like that awesome. Maybe you want to make it dance a little bit. Ah, that's only it's that's fair play there. That's only a couple seconds. Okay, don't flag us. That should be fine. Uh, so so uh, check out the learn guide for it. It's a really kind of uh, simple project to assemble because there's no like screws or glue or anything. And it's using that new Stemma speaker, which is so awesome because like that's so what we needed for Circuit Playground projects. So if yeah. you ever wanted it. <laughs> that's why I made it. I was like, wait, hold off on this project because I promise you it's going to be so much easier. Soon. It is so freaking worth it. So the thing is is right in there. And I just popped it out, actually. And what's cool about it is that you can just you can just connect it in there. And uh, if you have something like maybe you want to do alligator clip to alligator clip, you also have those pads there, which is great. You also got yeah. mounting holes on the side there because mounting holes are freaking awesome. Uh, but in yeah. this project, you didn't need them because uh, you know I just I just press fit it into the little it's thing. Press there. fit. Okay. Yeah. And then what what would you said? You had something else you wanted to show, or that's it? Yeah, we do. We have something else. Okay. Um, Pedro's got it there. He's oh, gonna there we do the CPX folder, but we'll just a couple of small things. Of course, everybody got their new iPhone. So the first thing we do every single time there's a new device, we have yeah, to that's right. redesign all the cases. So Ninja Flex, I think I uh, sent two over to the office there. One for Brent, one for PT. We got the uh, Blinka purple Ninja Flex. We got these in stock in this store. We got black and purple. And then went over to uh, Galaxy's Edge. There was like a rumor that you couldn't bring these in. So PT was like, hey, why don't you just design and 3D print these caps so everybody can just make their own. And it turns out they're really ergonomic. So if anybody has that sturdy problems, they actually make opening bottles. I know. I was, like, I was like, this is really nice and grippy. Yeah, I wish all bottles were like this. Yeah. 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 So uh, Fusion 360 files are up there along as, uh, with the um, iPhone stuff. So you can like edit all these and make, you know, whatever diameter bottles you have. And yeah. then another. I've seen on TV. I've seen on show and tell. There you go. And another. Hey, stuff. this is the last one that we got. Yeah. So a lot of folks are going to be putting circuit playgrounds, or we think, we hope, a lot of people are going to be putting their circuit playgrounds in pumpkins or cardboard projects or other props and stuff like that. So we came out with this little simple um, mount. It's, it's, it's more of a mount because it doesn't really kind of enclose the whole thing. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's really easy. It doesn't need screws. It's got that same snap fit thing that we uh, that we're using in all our projects, and you can fit a little battery in there. So if you ever see like a, a photo that we're doing, or we want to do like a quick <laughs> demo, uh, this is like our way to do it. We just have a nice right. little, a little That's thing. That's nice and there. handy. Yeah, it, it's super it. handy because like you, you also have these little tabs here on the on the, on the back there if you want to attach the mount itself to something else. The handiest. Um, yeah, and it keeps it nice and uh, flat there. Okay. Sorry, oh, thank you so much. Hi, right, thanks, Pedro. Next all right. up. So, Bye, guys. Uh, watching the clock tonight, we have about 12 minutes left. Everyone, six to a couple minutes each, will be able to do uh, and get to everyone. Uh, Aaron is next, and then after that, Chris Young, and then we'll get to everyone quickly. So, Aaron, take it away. Hey, okay. uh, so super quick. This is uh, from the guide I just published today. It is a, a necklace made from um, 3D printed scales on mesh fabric, and it's got little neopixel dots inside. Um, so really pretty easy to make. You just print it out and then the dots just fit perfectly in there. So there's no soldering, anything like that has to happen. And I made a little enclosure for the for the Gemma and uh, it's not quite as cool as Noe and Pedro's, but um, it has a little on off switch and everything. So that guide just got published today. Um, and there's a couple different styles. There's heart shapes and then mermaid shapes. So take a look. I love That's it. Great. Thank you so much, Aaron. It's perfect for 3D printed jewelry. Okay, so next right. up, let's go to Chris Young. Young, and then I'm gonna have Chris Young screen. Okay, hey Chris Young, Chris Young screen, you're now live. We can't. Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Now we can hear you. All right, good. Uh, well, this is a new learning guide that I've been working on for a couple of months. It just went live yesterday, and it's how to build my assistive technology ultimate remote. And this is a massive guide. It's 17 pages long. It has 30 images and three YouTube videos. Thanks to Bill Benko at AT Makers for helping me make all the videos. And I call this thing the ultimate remote because it will control uh, every consumer electronic device in your house, your TV, your cable box, your Blu-ray, whatever, through infrared. Uh, it will do mouse and keyboard emulation uh, by sending IR signals 
turtle dongle made out of a uh, trinket M0, and it will uh, do Bluetooth, Bluetooth switch control for your iOS devices, like iPhone and iPad. And it's, uh, I've been working on this. Really, I built the first version back in 2015, and it's gone through several major revisions, and I finally cleaned up the code and uh, wrote it all up and, and published it. And so we already have a couple of other uh, people with disabilities who are interested in building one, and I'm really proud of it. It's, uh, it's been a labor of love. It's probably the best project I've ever built, if I can say that. Yeah. And, uh, and it was just great to get it out there. Matt's a guy. It took us so long because we, we wanted to go through the entire thing and, and just type. There's almost nothing we had to fix, but we like to go through and just do a little copy edit. It's edits, one of the so. most comprehensive guides, and we just celebrated 2,000 guides. And thank you so much, Chris, for putting all your smarts up there and sharing all the work that you've been doing. You are the 2,000th guide. Yeah. I am. I didn't realize that. Yes. It just, that's how it worked out. Like, it's like, you're next. And it's like, yay. All right. Well, that's really cool. That's, that's really cool, cool being number 2,000. Yes. It's a great honor. And, uh, we always appreciate everything that you do for assistive technology. Uh, the other quick thing I want to mention is that I've updated my infrared library to enhance the support for SAMD51. Uh, I had some bugs that came up along the way. I had it working on the uh, Metro M4 when it was in beta, but then some things changed and I had to redo it. But it's all working now on the M4 and the, the Grand Central and the Feather M4. So uh, now I have other projects in the works that I'll be back to tell you about some other time. Can't wait. Right. Thank you awesome so much, Chris. stuff. Thanks, right. we're Chris. We're going to keep zooming along. All so right, thanks, next Chris. Next up, we're going to go to John G. Please take hey. a minute. Two minutes. How are you guys? Good. Oh, yeah. so, I will be super fast. Yeah. So I got my brand new Circuit Playground Express Blue Fruit Edition, and uh, so I wanted to use the app. And I was able to do with these wonderful um, standoffs for the CPX and your uh, NeoPixel strands, a no solder um, opportunity to create a tie that is app controlled. So you can yeah. choose your color and press yeah. in there. Woo, we've Whoa, got that going. it's blue, but what if it's... But you can do more, but wait, there's more. So if it's um, at the university where I teach, it is um, parent-teacher day, so uh, on Friday. So I'm gonna tell the students that their parents can come and they can make it glow in all different kinds of ways. But also, if you really wanna play along with the home game, whoops, you can go ahead and press, uh, and um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but when you click the button, you can make it go up and down and oh, really- Wow. And if you want to make your little Larson scanner, by the way, shout out to Aaron and Michael Sklar. I adapted the code that you used in your really cool scarf to make some tie stuff happening. But this is all the greatness that we can do with the Circuit Player and Express Blue Fruit Edition, even the alpha version. And you can do these with no soldering at all. So I'll be sure yeah, to share the code with you. Amazing. So, all right. Well, thank you so much. Please email support at adafruit.com so we can send you an asking on the show and tell sticker. And I'm absolutely going to take this clip. And when people say, well, what can the Blue Fruit I'm it slices. It slices. It makes ties. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool right. looking tie. Nice build Thank there. You for your work. Thank you. All right, sweet. All right, next up, we're going to go to Ron. Ron Deer. Hello, Ron. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, guys. All right, so real fast, uh, a couple uh, months ago, my daughter's uh, stuffed uh, lamb here uh, stopped working. Oh, no. And uh, so it had a little uh, just a little uh, board here with a coin cell battery. When you press it, it played, you know, a monophonic, uh, uh, you know, a lullaby. And so it stopped working, tried to open it up, tried to fix it. It was all covered in epoxy, so I'm not sure what was going on. So I, I figured I could fix it myself. So I built this. It's uh, much more complicated than what was in there, but um, just a power or interview power switch, 50 bitsy M4, a little amp board, runs off four AAA batteries. When you press this, I'm not going to let it go because you know, um, you know, cost protection issues and all. But it starts playing a lullaby. Oh, nice. But the nice thing is, once that is done, uh, the itty bitty M4 sends a signal back to the power switch through the kill port or the kill pin, and cuts power to it, so it doesn't waste power. Nice. So it can run off these for a fairly long time. Um, I've tested it for about a week and a half now, and I wanted to show it off before I put it inside the lamb and sewed it up. Yeah. I'm so happy. She's, she's going to be so psyched that she has her stuff. It's the same stuffed animal, not a new one, but the yep. same one. So and I'm going to leave the uh, M4 on the edge so that we can pull a piece of Velcro and just update the songs to whatever she wants down the road. Cool. It's a very futuristic thing. You're like, here you go, updating your stuffed animal. Well, um, if you want to show and tell sticker, email support at adafruit.com. Will do. Nice, right. nice little power work there. Yeah. Thanks, guys.
Next up, we're going to go to Jay. Hello, Jay. Hi, Jay. Hey, hey everyone. Can you hear me OK? Yes. Yeah. Great. So I'm going to go kind of quick. I know you're short on time. Yeah. I spent the last uh, month making this. It's um, a 3D printed um, Raspberry Pi enclosure. So uh, it's based on a Twitter artist did a sketch of this, and he called it mobile media. Um, and really, going to take a second to adjust. Oh, yeah. Basically, okay. it's got, it uses a, a M4 Express um, running CircuitPython and emulates a mouse and keyboard. It's got a little scroll scroll dial. Doesn't like you know do a whole lot. That's the kind of, kind of the one question I get again. I kind of like again. that. It's, it's like a microfiche for Pi. Yeah. yeah. It's designed though to sit on my desk, so it's like a second monitor. I always want to have a Pi, and I don't like looking at just the plain old Pi, and then I plug it into the monitor and everything. Um, and all the parts, it's all three D printed. Maybe someday I'll make motorized legs. Yeah. And it's got tons of stuff. The panels I could take off a panel and add sensors. It's got tons of room. And really all it is is an M4 Express, a Raspberry Pi, and their official touchscreen display. So the whole thing comes apart. Nothing's glued. It's super easy for me to modify. That's so, so cool. What a great build. Excellent, excellent work. And there's plenty of room for a show and tell sticker yep. on there. Um, the, the single serving devices and like extra monitors are really popular now. I think because we have such big resolutions and things that it's nice to have like that's what's on that screen. And you yep. can control it with a knob. And then just a quick plug, I made this and I showed it on show and tell like four years ago. Um, and it's a Raspberry Pi and like a, a, a weather resistant enclosure. Um, I have, uh, my, I'm gonna be basically on, on my website and then on Instagram and Twitter, I'm building another one okay. uh, with new stuff and it's, it's in this box. Okay. So, so cool, okay. thank you. We'll come back as you're doing the build. And uh, if you add us on Twitter, we'll retweet it and uh, we'll add it to our blog shows, newsletters and all that if you got some stuff you want to share. All right, thank you. Hi, Thanks thank so you. Today. All right. I and think Jay, Virgil? Last, last but not least, Virgil. All right, keep it two minutes and we will be exactly on time. Okay, guys, I'll do my best. Um, haven't been on for a couple of years. I had done four straight Halloween projects and then I missed last year on Halloween, so I need to do one now. Uh, about three years ago at Thanksgiving, my granddaughter Nora was on with a banana yeah, piano. I remember that. Um, her little brother Miles, whose middle name is the same as my meat space name, uh, wants to be a traffic light for Halloween. He's three, so this is not a very exotic project. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, see if I can. Um, a good idea for a traffic light. That's yeah. great. So what he did was I got a nine-inch loaf pan, and there's a. A three by double double a battery pack and a uh, small enclosure with a quarter size perma proto in there and a trigger m0 and a couple of uh, resistors and then we fashioned a uh, metal front for it those are k cups from a uh, use k cups from a keurig machine and uh, some led holders and they hold up the letter so the, the battery holder has a switch on it so i can get to it Okay, so, oop, sorry, missed that, missed that part of it. It's not quite ready yet, but I mean, I'm not together, but I'm not, not ready to the crappy things. So the, um, this thing over here is a perf board with a button on the other side. So it just cycles through the red, uh, the green, yellow, red. And if you push the button, there's an interrupt in there and it will stop on the next, uh, it'll stop on the next light. And it'll just be there. So if you want something different other than the uh, uh, the cycling through, you can just push that, push the button again, and it goes back goes back to cycling. All right. So, that, so that's so that's it. That's Miles's traffic light. Well, right, he's so going to be the best traffic light that you could possibly be. Okay, and that's let, me, let me say one more time. My life is better, and I'm a better person because of Adafruit. So oh wow! Uh, you're a wow. better person because you're helping your your grandkids and your kids. That, 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 that may be it, but uh, it, I just it, it's a. It, We're just the tool through. that you're using. Well, We're thank, not. Thank you so much. And email supported Adafruit, and uh, maybe Miles can get an as seen on the show and tell sticker as one of the treats for Halloween as well. Right. Thank you very much. All right, okay, Virgil. thank you, Virgil. We'll Good to see you again. We'll keep coming back with the great projects and everything. Yes, you. I remember you made some stuffed animals, so I love yeah. it. There's a lot of stuffed animals in this, in this episode of Show and Tell. All right, so we got to right. rush because we're gonna uh, do this unboxing. We gotta get all these videos ready. See everybody at eight. 
Um, See you in 10 pa minutes. Paint Your Dragon, can you, uh, can you play us out? <laughs> oh, you're on mute. <laughs> all right okay we'll see everybody next week thanks for making this the best uh that's a demonic voice for, uh, yeah th 21 minutes of our week uh unboxing with jp starts in nine minutes all right thanks everybody see you soon and see you next week bye <laughs> bye demon